Well, I know I've told this story on this podcast very many times, but it doesn't hurt to repeat. I told you that when I was growing up in primary school, there was a, a head teacher who was very respected, actually a big time authoritarian and authoritative guy. And his name was reverberating in the whole community far and wide. But one day he perceived or he came up with a sort of bizarre punishment because I look at it back in hindsight and I think that it was one of the most bizarre things you can ever do. What he designed was that if a pupil will be found in school stealing something, maybe even it's a pen or a book or whatever it is, that pupil will be forced to wear a coat, some kind of garb that has been written on, printed on in bold, thief and translated into two other languages, Swahili and the local language. And guys will do that. And, you know, it seemed like it's a fun thing to do and so on and so forth. But I look back at that situation today and I'm thinking it is one of the most insidious things you can ever do in terms of punishment for a boy or for a girl. In the podcast, we're discussing why you should become a life coach for your children from the home. And I want us to build on this aspect, on this story, and see what you can learn from it today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So I'm going to come back to that story shortly, but let me ask you this question very, very fast. Do you know the reason as to why you went to school? Do you know the reason as to why you are sending your children to school? Is there a good reason you can give me other than to get good grades and get a job? Is there a good reason as to why you are going to school? That is something that we need to focus on today and we've been focusing on in these episodes and in this series for quite a while. And what I'm saying is, in essence, that the lives that we are living today, the dispensation, the season, the century in which we are living today is no longer the one that the education system was created to solve or was created to act on. It is totally different. It has changed so much so that even today as I speak, there are massive organizations that are no longer requiring people to have degrees in order for them to get the employment that they are looking for. And even if there are degrees to look for and to, you know, to acquire, we've seen and we are seeing on an increasing basis thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people getting those I mean, so-called degrees, those coveted degrees on a daily basis, maybe on a monthly basis or maybe on a yearly basis. Let me be realistic here. If you're talking about the whole wide world, but then these people who have those echelons of success in terms of academia are not being translated into members of society, not initiated into members of society that can work and they can provide value and they can influence society in one way or another which tells us that there's something wrong somewhere or there's something amiss somewhere. And I've been telling you guys that one of the things that I have discovered, and I will keep insisting, it is this, that the way the education system was sold to us as the silver bullet is no longer going to work and it's no longer the truth. Solutions to work, solutions to joblessness, solutions to these things of people saying, I do not know what to do, I do not know how, what I'm going to do in life and so on. It is not education. It is not the only solution that there is. I'm saying that there is myriad different, unique ways that that's that 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 problem can be tackled and education is not it 
So I'm saying that one of the ways that we can look at it is to look at purpose to profit. In other words, we look at how people have been gifted and blessed and so on and how can they be able to look at the environment they find themselves in and create value in those environments and grow from there. Uh, I read the story of Tyler Perry the other day. He's become a billionaire and they said that Tyler Perry dropped out of high school. If you look at his education, he doesn't have the dreaded degree, I mean the coveted degree but the man is a billionaire and if you look at his life, he's stuck to one thing, to one purpose. I mean, the passion that was on his life, he stuck to it. I mean, going through hell and high water trying to do this, trying to, you know, sleep in his car and so on. You know, someone in Africa will tell me, but you know, uh, someone who can sleep in his car is richer than me. <laughs> I agree. But the concept is the same. That this man separated himself to his passion, okay, and it ha is working for him. To such an extent that this man has employed very many people across the world for his empire and so on and so forth. So what I'm saying is this, that if you look at education as the only sole solution to the joblessness scourge that people are facing, you will be wrong. So we need to look at purpose from another angle. And that's why I'm saying that if you can go to my website, lifesignatures.life slash purpose to profit, you're going to download that PDF that I've created. It's a book, a, a great book that people are sharing all over the place. You can download it, you can read this and it's going to give you the concepts. But I was saying that the answer the answer in the series we've been providing, in the in this series we've been providing the answer that the parent must become the life coach. Because the parent knows these things. You and I have gone through the education system and we know where it's messing up. We know what's missing in it. We know what's work, what works and what doesn't work. Why or not should we continue being faithfully sending our kids to the same route? You know, what are we thinking that it's going to change? What are we thinking is going to be different for them? It's basically going to be worse for them because the world is changing. And we've been saying that if you're going to be a parent and you're going to become a life coach, there are several things that you need to tackle. Number one, you need to tackle the aspect that your child should have a life of purpose. In other words, you should teach them from, the early, from an early age that life is about purpose. It's not about degrees and diplomas and being the number one and so on. It's about being the best version of yourself, your unique gifts and unique talents being you utilized and then the second thing you are supposed to teach them about their self image the self identity their self concept their self esteem which is a key component in this life today we are seeing very many people around the world trying to put on masks and i'm i'm, I'm not talking about covid even before COVID came, there were very many masks people were putting on. I mean, filters on Instagram, filters on Snapchat, and, and, and even before Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook came, all those filters came, people were putting on makeup. And even before the makeup came, people were aping others. Self-image, self-identity. We have an identity crisis in the world, and it can only be sorted at home. It's not going to be sorted at school. School doesn't have the time, the focus, and the wherewithal to sort out the identity crisis. And the third thing, it is to manage their transitions as a life coach at home. You're helping them to transition from one season to another, especially when they're supposed to put their hands on the plow and start working and making sense of this life and make being people who can contribute and impact and create things and change the world for a better to make it a better place and the fourth thing we said as a life coach you teach them to take full responsibility in other words i mean there are no excuses you're maybe you're born in africa you're born in the village whatever it is you have responsibility and not excuses you have responsibility to make sure that your life works rise up above that the darker you are the higher the responsibility in, my, in other words the darker the circumstances you find yourself in the higher the responsibility it is for you and once you overcome the brighter your light shines you're becoming a beacon just like i'm talking to you about this tyler perry guy his circumstances were dire and dark but the man has overcome so much so that he is a bright light shining number five you need to teach them what the ultimate purpose for existence is. Why are we here as human beings? We are here as human beings to add value. We are not here to 
take things. We are here to give of ourselves, give of our talents, and give of our time, and give of our kindness, give of our love, give of our care. But we are here to create things to make this world a better place, not to hold things. Get this, get that, get that. No, that is not why we were created. And then you become a life coach number six. So that you can help these guys to create multiple streams of income. The worst thing that is coming out of the traditional school system is one way stream. One stream of income which is the job. I mean why one way street? Why will you do all that? I mean why will you go to school for 16 years, 20 years, 25 years just for one stream of income? That's where you come in as a life coach. You can review the previous episodes to learn much more about that. And yesterday we say that you become a life coach so that you can let these guys learn from your messes, learn from your mistakes, learn from your woes, learn from your comebacks, learn from your David versus Goliath stories, learn from informally from you and get to know what works and what doesn't work and what worked for you. Get to know the qualities, the attitudes, the dispositions, the characters. Get to know these silent things that they are not normally taught at school that worked for you. But today in the episode I want us to discuss the number, I want us to discuss the number eight thing that is the reason as to why you should become a life coach for your children. And it's a big deal to such an extent that I have written a book called Permission for Greatness, which I've changed the title over and over again. And the book is still in the shelf gathering dust. It is yet to be published. But that doesn't negate the fact that this point is important. Let's go back to that story. The story of the kid who was caught at the primary school stealing a pen and he was made to wear this branded garb that read Thief Mwizi Omwifi. You know, those are three languages cementing the fact that you are a thief. And what did he steal? He stole a pen. Maybe he just picked a pen because he didn't have a pen to use and so on. And you know how situations can be dire in, in the village and so on and so forth. But this man was labeled, this boy was labeled to such an extent that it affected him in life. This label, he wore it, just not that for that week. He wore this label for the rest of his life. To such an extent that later on in life, we had gangs, a gang actually terrorizing residents in the village, in the community, and they will hack people to death and they will break into people's houses and they will steal things. Guess who the ringleader was? Your guess is as good as mine. So you're becoming a life coach for your child for the sake of giving them permission for greatness. That boy was not given permission for greatness. He was given permission to be a villain by being labeled. It is very extremely important. Whatever label you put on a boy, whatever label you put on a girl, whatever label you put on someone who is malleable, that label sticks unless there is deliverance later on in his life, unless there's just another person or another event that comes and really in a massive way changes the label, tears down the label, the negative label that you put on someone and then installs a new thing. That's what the parent needs to be doing. Every time you speak into the life of a child, whatever label you give them, that label sticks. You call them stupid even if they are not stupid. They will gravitate towards stupid. You call them foolish even if they are not foolish. They will gravitate towards foolishness. I, I know of a story and I'm not going to share the int intimate details here. But I know of a story of someone, someone's child who used to ace his papers. In fact, in primary one, primary two, this guy, this lady was always uh, uh, topping the class. And then for some reason, the parents or the guardians decided just calling this lady names. You know, you are stupid, you're foolish. Not just they, they were stupid or foolish. It was one of the default ways of reprimanding someone, reprimanding the lady. And along the way, this lady started believing the particular label that she was being given to such an extent that she became so confused that you know she could not answer a simple question like one plus one maybe she knew she knew the answer but the permission the confidence to say the answer the doubt that had been installed into her life was so great that she could not have the confidence enough to say the answer and that continued to such an extent that she became a, uh, I mean, it became a life-fulfilling prophecy 
self-fulfilling prophecy they call her stupid they call her foolish she became exactly that you become a life coach as a parent in order to give them permission for greatness and this is how it works you give them this, this guy is a blessing and you call them great you call them awesome you call them marvelous you call them unique you give them the idea which is true actually that they have potential inside of them that they have a calling and that this this a destiny upon their lives and other people are waiting for them to obey their destiny so that they can be able to be a blessing to the world that is how you install permission for greatness it is not about academics it is about meaning it is about essence it is about destiny it's about a call that is upon the human being every human being has this but the parent stands at a pole position to call out this basically giving them permission to be great and i know people normally have written books saying that you do not need to be given permission to become great and so on you can become great but let me tell you this it's an inside outside working thing it's an in out thing if someone has worked on your inside and can tell that permission they have basically killed that greatness you cannot be great if the inside is not sorted that's where the parent comes in to start sorting the inside of a child by giving them the permission to be great permission to be the best version of themselves that they were called to be and guess what this cannot be done in school or it can be done in school because there is a, a a big ratio between the child uh, between the teacher and the children that's why it cannot be sufficiently be done at school that's where you as a parent comes in and you've got to do it if you don't do it if you don't learn to do this the school system is not going to do it for you and the world is not going to do it for you maybe once in a while you find a preacher waxing eloquent and lyrical about this but just that's just just that that's just once in a sunday once in a week and it's not enough it needs to be enough on a daily basis and that's why you as a parent comes in tomorrow we're going to talk about something else but until then give those guys permission to be great bye bye A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.